Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a Libra Rising. A weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week, and uh, just give me a second to shuffle the tarot cards, guys, and we are gonna move right, uh, right into it. Right, so the first one that we do have for you, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Moving next, uh, we do have the Five of Eight Wands, followed by the Six of Swords. And the last one <clears throat> we do have for your week, that is going to be the Tower card. So it's a quite of a um, dynamic week, to say the least. Now, some people may see rather a volatile energy within those uh, within those cards. I mean, you don't have uh, one of these pseudo positive cards like you know the aces and say the choose and um, kind of like magician fool etc. Um, if you dive into the books, you're going to see that those cards are rather approached in a very negative uh, in a very negative way. But all in all, the cumulative, um, the cumulative message of uh, those four cards, it is that this week uh, you are going to finally have enough. And instead of hoping that things are going to solve themselves on their own accord, you are going to undertake them within your own personal hands. And with doing that, you are going to do something, I would say drastic rather than radical to improve your own personal circumstances and I'm saying personal circumstances that could um, be that or rather like that could apply that you are gonna have enough and quit your job you're gonna have enough and break your relationship but should the situation in your job and your relationship uh, allows you to improve the circumstances without going such a drastic to a such drastic measure you are also going to explore that particular um, that particular option available as well. Now the thing it is that uh, throughout the week itself, the shenanigans are going to overwhelm you to a such a point that you are going to ask yourself what that what in the world you are doing, girl slash boy. And uh, from there, instead of approaching the whole thing on an emotional basis where you know you're feeling despondent uh, down in the dumps and etc uh, you are to lean or rely on your a personal uh, or rely on your mental strength and mental awareness as well understanding that those shenanigans are there is just because you allow them to be there okay it's because uh, whenever something kind of like small thing changes in a negative way you are giving it a way too much attention 
and in some cases you may not agree with it but in some cases you are making the uh, the problem to look as something a of a colossal scale while in reality it's really just a uh, uh, it's really just a trifle and uh, this is how you are going to approach the whole things that are happening the problems within your marriage and the problems within your uh, your your career for example they're just a trifles and uh, while there are many around, they can be overcome with these should all parties that are addressed or that are participants into the situation itself wants to fix the issues because you can't do it on your own. Okay, so uh, what what happens there? It is that you are leaving the the ball in the turf of the other person and if the other person doesn't want does i'm sorry if the other person wants to make the things right that's awesome that's great if they don't that would that will be great as well okay because either way you are improving your own personal circumstances that doesn't mean that these are the circumstances that surround your re your relationship nor your career um with the six of swords into the third position, that is the, the, the final straw, that is the, the drawing the line, that is the threshold that have been passed or that have been traversed from the situation itself that you are finding yourself at and that you ident not identify but you determine yourself that things just can't go anymore like that. And so you do make those brave actions to improve your own personal circumstances. So where that thing um, leads to by the end of the day or by the end of the week, well, we do have the tower card there. And the tower card is associated with the transformation through rumble and destruction, uh, where the old structures that doesn't work anymore are completely decimated and they are giving space for the new structures to take place. Now, usually that, that transformation undergoes through a quite unpleasant circumstances or qu quite unpleasant symptoms, I would say, which could be symptoms of, again, losing your job, losing your relationship, severe fights, uh, unplanned pregnancy. Uh, very often it comes like that, okay? crush that you may have you know i'm giving you that scenario you are very miserable within your current relationship you are a constant victim of abuse for example and suddenly you kind of like find or determine yourself that that's that's it you know you are, you are done with that thing and um that is the final straw and at the end you you crush yourself with somebody else that it's it's kind of mutual so now you have your final thought or like definitive thought that you have to leave your relationship that is just the one narrative that these cards could could play out at but the bottom line here by the end of the week it is that many things that uh, you held into so um, firmly I would say uh, in the past uh, they they have to pretty much lose grip on your life and regardless of that you kind of rely on those structures or not, you alone are going to understand that they can no longer have a part in your existence. And so when the transformation takes place and it's kind of finalized, it's not going to be finalized throughout the whole week, okay? Um, just by the end of the week, that transformation starts based on your Fed, of your position of being fed up with the whole shenanigans that are happening around. And uh, how long is going to be that transformation? Well, that depends entirely on you, but what you need to know it is that all the turmoil and all the suffering that the transformation is going to make you go through, it will be worth it. Because at the end, your life is going to be cleansed and is going to be healed. And now if you do wonder what the five of uh, ones here, but because I haven't mentioned it, and I probably are going to be called out for that, um, would mean in this uh, in this reading as it stands on the second position. Well, that is where the things that card there points that there won't be anything miraculous that is to happen to improve your circumstances on its own accord. It is you who need to take the initiative.
Okay, so that's why you get you get yourself fed up, and finally you do determine to do what what you what you need to do, what you anticipate to do, and whatever happens happens, and only good things are gonna come out of it. So that being said, Libra, this was your a weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do uh, enjoyed it and you do liked it, guys, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.